There are a ton of superhero movies out there now, and with so many cramming the cinemas every year, you want to know what the problem with them is? That there aren't a ton more. Luckily, Vin Diesel is bringing a new superhero franchise and potential universe to the screens in 2020. While fans know all about Bloodshot's complicated comic history, most moviegoers have no idea who he is. Unlike other comic characters, he's had no cartoon series or TV show to introduce him to the people. Well, we've got you covered. Here are 10 things that you desperately need to know about Bloodshot before the big movie. After years of waiting, we are finally getting a Bloodshot movie. There have been rumors for years that this would happen, but most fans had given up hope. For a little while, it looked like Jared Leto was going to don the red eyes of Bloodshot, but that kind of fell apart. Then Vin Diesel came in and saved the day. Bloodshot is officially on the way in 2020. They've released the first trailer for the film, and it looks pretty awesome. We're introduced to Diesel as the murdered soldier Ray Garrison. He's resurrected by a secret government agency with superpowers. Through the use of nanites, he has super strength, durability, and stamina. He also has the power to interact with electrical objects and briefly change his appearance. Though the most important power that he has is a healing factor that would make Wolverine and Deadpool jealous. Garrison wakes up but immediately remembers that he has to avenge his poor wife and find the man responsible. In true action hero fashion, he tracks him down and takes him out. Movie over, right? Except the evil organization shuts him down and he wakes up all over again. What's strange is that he still wants to avenge his wife. The organization is apparently transplanting fake memories into his mind. Each day he awakens to take down a different man that he thinks is responsible for ruining his life. It's really funny that Guy Pierce is the villain in this, considering that that's pretty close to the plot of his film, Memento. From the looks of it, Garrison eventually figures out that he's being tricked and turns against his bosses. If you're a big fan of sci-fi superhero action, then the rest of the trailer looks like this will be a movie for you. So who is this bloodshot guy anyway? Well, he's a typical 90s comic character. When he was introduced, he had big muscles, big guns, and walked through lots of blood. Also, his costume had unnecessary straps. Every 90s character had a costume with random straps all over the place. His backstory is that of former mobster Angelo Morali, who was sold out by the Carboni crime family. After he was betrayed while in witness protection, he lost all of his memories while getting experimented on. The organization, Project Rising Spirit, infused him with nanites that turned his skin paper white and his eyes red. He also has all of the aforementioned powers that the Vin Diesel version had. Eventually, Bloodshot discovered his true identity and rebelled against Rising Spirit. Desperate to get their hands on his blood, PRS sent several lesser experiments after him to get his blood. None of that ended well for them. We do see this arc forming in the trailer though. It seems like PRS is the secret organization that Guy Pierce is working for. The cool sci-fi bad guys who attack him are probably after his nanites as well. The entire Valiant line was rebooted in 2012, and Bloodshot was given a different backstory, one that will be more familiar to those that watched the trailer. In this version, he was presented as former soldier Raymond Garrison. He is a father and a husband for part of his life, and the vicious soldier Bloodshot for the other part. The only problem is that he's not actually Raymond Garrison at all. His memories are all fake motivations given to him so that he'll fight harder. Like his 90s counterpart, he eventually figures this out and turns against PRS. He goes on quite a few epic adventures with lots of crossovers from other Valiant heroes. He saves a group of superpowered children and finds out that he was used by PRS to take out similar children. He then participated in an event called the Harbinger War, which pitted him against Peter Stanchek. More on him later. His story pivoted away from a strictly solo series when he joined the team known as Hardcore. Yeah, Valiant isn't really known for being subtle. This team is PRS's strike force aimed at keeping rogue superpowered enemies in check. PRS created a new way of manipulating Bloodshot and had him back on their leash. He joined them and took on an evil organization known as the Sect who were controlling things from the shadows. Then Bloodshot betrayed the team and they had a big superhero battle. At this point though, they should have seen it coming, right? I mean, Bloodshot's whole thing is that he betrays PRS and can't be controlled. It should have been an easy one to figure out. 
If you couldn't figure it out by now, Bloodshot usually isn't written as a particularly cerebral character. That changed when celebrated comic writer Jeff Lamar took on the character with Bloodshot Reborn. There was a big event called The Valiant, which saw several of the universe's heroes band together and fail. The Geomancer that they were supposed to protect is mortally wounded. Before she goes though, she restores Bloodshot's humanity, purging the nanites from his blood. Now, Bloodshot is living as a human in hiding. When he sees that people with his old nanites are performing acts of violence across the country, he goes out to reclaim them. This is a much more nuanced take on the character, which shows him struggling more with his violent past. It also deals with the effects violent heroes like him might have on children. The story is the type of dramatic work that could easily be Vin Diesel's Logan. Like that movie, this one is a dark road trip that seeks to redefine what being a superhero means. Is this the next R-rated Oscar bait superhero movie? So, with all of these plot lines to choose from, which one is the movie going to go with? Well, there are plenty of theories out there. It's pretty obvious that the film will be heavily based on the 2012 reboot of the series. The movie will surely follow Bloodshot discovering PRS conspiracy against him and his bloody revenge. That being said, this is a superhero movie in 2019, which means that it has to set up sequels and spin-offs. The film might introduce the concept of Psyox. These psychic-powered people are often considered the greatest threat on Earth, according to the government. Bloodshot, unknown to him, is the foremost assassin of these people, even the children. This realization would prove to be the most dramatic turn in the film and would set up a Harbinger movie. Also, look for hints of other heroes and terms from the universe. It's likely we'll hear words like Geomancer, Eternal Warrior, Harbingers, and Ninjak. We might even get a scene like the one in Batman v Superman where Wonder Woman looks at files that expand the universe. Though, hopefully this one would be handled just a bit better. At this point, you might be wondering, where does this Bloodshot guy come from? More specifically, you might be wondering if he's like the Marvel or the DC Universe heroes. Actually, he's not like either. Valiant Comics is a much more gritty universe. Was Valiant Comics, you ask? Well, for that, kiddos, we're gonna need to jump in our time machine. Grab your VCRs and your Tamagotchi, folks, because we are headed to the 1990s. After Marvel's old editor-in-chief Jim Shooter failed to acquire the company with a group of investors, they went out on their own. They formed Voyager Communications and launched a new interconnected comics line under the name of Valiant. It went on to launch several fantastic new heroes through the 1990s. The line was so successful that it ranked third in sales right behind Marvel and DC. The company fell on some hard times though after the 90s boom and began to fade. It was purchased by Acclaim Entertainment. They made several Valiant Comics video games as well, the best of which was the crossover Iron Man and Exo Man of War and Heavy Metal. Ultimately though, that company tanked too. Then Valiant was bought by a group of entrepreneurs who formed Valiant Entertainment. It remained like that until 2018, then DMG acquired full ownership of the company. At some point, Disney will probably buy it. They're gonna end up owning most of America. So aside from Bloodshot, who are the big Valiant heroes? If you're expecting Batman, Superman, and Captain America, prepare yourself for things to get weird. There are several heroes who have made names for themselves over the years at Valiant. Eternal Warrior is, well, an eternal warrior who has guarded the Earth for centuries. Ninjak is a British ninja who makes Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe look like a Boy Scout. Then there's Livewire who can control tech with her mind. One of the most popular comics in the Valiant verse is Harbinger. That comic stars a kid named Peter Stanchek, who is a Psyok, also known as Harbingers. They're basically the mutants of the Valiant universe, only with a different and more complicated backstory. He gets recruited by another Harbinger, Toyo Harada, into the Harbinger Foundation. Then he finds out that, big surprise, Toyo Harada is evil. Peter strikes out on his own and meets up with several interesting side characters over the years. The best of which is Faith, who is a superhero ray of sunshine that the world desperately needs to see on the big screen right now. Another Valiant hero who would be pretty fun to see on screen 
is Exile Manowar. He is a 5th century Visigoth who gets abducted by aliens. Luckily, he manages to escape by stealing battle armor. Once he travels home, he finds out that thousands of years have passed. Now he has to adjust to the modern world while wearing a high-tech sentient suit of armor. If you like the fish out of water stuff from Thor and all the Iron Man action, you're gonna love this. That being said, his story does take a lot of dark turns that the other ones don't, so it might prove to be a little difficult to adapt. He actually takes a villainous turn and a group of heroes have to band together to stop him. Toyo Harada, remember him? assembles a team consisting of Ninjack, Eternal Warrior, and Livewire. It's the kind of conflict that would make a pretty epic movie. Valiant Comics has all sorts of other great heroes, but the best way to learn about them, honestly, is to go to your local comic book store. Talking about them is one thing, but reading about them really is the best way to learn. So, how do we think that Sony will combine all of these elements into a Valiant Cinematic Universe? Well, we know that aside from Bloodshot, there's already a film in production called Harbinger. So, they're gonna begin by introducing the concepts of PRS and Psyox before they flesh out the weirder parts of the universe. That might lead to the first crossover with the Harbinger War story that would pit Diesel against Peter Stanchek. Unfortunately, things aren't that simple though. The Harbinger film rights have been sold to Paramount. It's not impossible that these two will join forces to take on Marvel, but it does seem unlikely. A lot of it depends on how successful Bloodshot actually is. Hopefully it's more of a Fast and the Furious situation than The Last Witch Hunter. If all of this has made you hungry to see a Valiant Cinematic Universe, then there's only one way to see it today. The fan film Ninjak vs. The Valiant Universe is one of the best ever made. If you've ever seen the Superpower Beatdown series on YouTube, you know that Bat in the Sun makes the best fan films out there, and their Valiant movie might be the best one that they've done. It features White Ranger Jason David Frank as a very bloody bloodshot. So if you can't wait for the movie, this is going to be the next best thing. So there you have it, the 10 best things about your next favorite superhero, Bloodshot. What are you most excited for in the new movie? Let us know in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to The Binger for more. And of course, thanks for watching.